Series Solutions Agronomist Betsy Bauer here to provide our weekly agronomic insights update. Well, one of the stories to the 2021 crop is going to be our early season dry conditions and those early season dry conditions started in April. We got a lot of planting done in the southern part of the territory because we're a little warmer but we were dry and that looks to have been a good decision overall for much of that crop. We still had dry conditions through April to allow us to get some time in planting in other parts of the state with some rainfall around Mother's Day as well as um, uh, just this past week in the southern part of the state. So we've had some hit and miss storms. This week again has been some hit and miss showers. There's still a lot of have nots uh, regarding the rainfall. And in Michigan, that good to excellent rating is starting to suffer and getting below 60% on corn, soybeans, and wheat. In Indiana, week over week, we stayed relatively the same. But I'm in this cornfield because what I want to talk about is, is thinking about those post-emergence herbicide applications. And while you may have been able to make them timely, you could have gotten caught in, an, in a time period where it wasn't, you weren't able to get it applied. And so we need to really be out staging corn to see what stage it's in because some of our more common herbicides um, that we apply post-emergence in corn like Roundup and Status and Incinerate, Laudus and Armazon, just to name a few, have a cutoff of about V8 and Liberty is about V7. So how do you go ahead and stage that crop? Well, you actually look at the base of the plant and I know you can't see this, but you start with the first rounded leaf and then you count every leaf with a collar up the top of the plant until you don't see any more collars. So, so this one happens to be V8, which is right at the, 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 the stage. Um, as we get to V9, we're gonna wanna stop applications with those herbicides. There's others out there that you go, can go beyond V8. So what about in soybeans? Um, how are, what's our stage in soybeans? And so um, earlier today, I happened to be in a field in the southern part of our territory that was some early planted soybeans, a 2-8 maturity that was at R2 throughout the field. So R2 is when you've got flowers at every node. Now most guys are probably planting not as early as a 2-8 in the southern uh, part of uh, the territory. It's gonna be a mid group three or a late group three. In fields that I've been in there, we're starting R1. And uh, R1 is when you have a flower at at least one node and 50% of the field. But as you think about our post-emergence herbicides in soybeans, um, Extendamax and Ingenia also have an R1 label. Um, some of our other herbicides on list have an R2 label. So we would need to stop applications even though we have not met that June 20th date. So it's going to be important to get out and do some scouting of your soybeans, especially those early planted soybeans as well. So what's going on in this, in this crop? Um, in the southern part of the state, our earliest planted corn is at V9, V10. And the way that the weather's going, this crop at V8 is going to be there soon. So as we um, get into V10, that's when we start, that's called the grand growth phase. And we start to put on a leaf every 50 growing degree days, which in this warm, these warm temperatures with warm nights and warm days, that's gonna take us about a day and a half to two days at most. And so we're gonna uh, grow that crop fairly quickly and we'll be tasseling by the 4th of July, if not before, probably the end of June sometime. But that's also the time for rapid uptake of nitrogen and potassium. We know that potassium will end about our run well, where um, nitrogen goes through grain fill. Well, what about soybeans? As we start to enter the reproductive stage, also in soybeans, we do um, the, the, in, the uptake uh, of potassium is also increased. And of course, we need nitrogen through it, but, ni but soybeans are, have nodules that are helping them fix nitrogen for them in the soil. So anyway, um, throughout the crop, I've been able to be in from southwest Indiana, west central Indiana to north um, uh, west Indiana, and the crop is growing well. These dry conditions allow us to root down and, and capture some moisture and some nutrition there. If you have any uh, concerns or need help staging crops, just see your Serious Solutions professional.